Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It's the fourth day of November. We have got one field left to plough. We have got all the top fertilising done. We've got the spraying done. We've got the milk on for today. We've got £21,000 left in the bank after buying the lime to spread on the fields. So, once we get this ploughed, we have got crops to sell over the winter. And then May skip a day or two to the spring when we can start the spring cultivation, get the oats in, the potatoes in and the sugar beet. First of all, we need to get this field ploughed. Hopefully, we should get it done today. It's the last field we have got to plough, so not too worried if it runs into the next day. But definitely need to get these crops sold off the farm in the next couple of days. We've got milk to sell. Uh, not sure whether we can see what Our cattle are doing. They are 21 months old. So they are within breeding age, so not sure how you find out. It's not as good as the modded version of seasons where it tells you what each cow is doing. But we shall have a look and see. Pigs don't seem to breed very well either. Maybe a case of getting rid of the pigs or buying young ones, breeding them till they're mature and selling them. <coughs> but we shall see as we've only had them a few months we will see how things go with those. Downside to the pigs of course, the cows whilst we are getting them up to their reproductive part, they are producing milk that we can sell. Pigs, on the other hand, cost money until they start reproducing. And then you get a little bit of the money back. Uh, we shall see how that goes going forward. Everything working to plan at the moment.
Uh, this Massey Ferguson 65 working well on the plough. We'll get a few more hours when we get to harvesting sugar beet and potatoes at the end of next year. This lime will increase the yield of any crops we are putting in come the spring. Not sure how much benefit it does give, but definitely going to give it a benefit. And lime's not too expensive to put on the land because it's only 400 and 50 pounds a ton. Hopefully next year we will have some manure to put on to the soil as well. Do intend buying a few more cows. as well so we get a little bit more money in every day we double the herd size and then let them breed from there to increase the herd it will double our daily income which is no bad thing we'll of course double our feed requirements and straw requirements but we've got plenty of hay and straw in the shed more than enough for what we've got animal wise at the moment Hopefully with 1962, with more than just a couple of fields to harvest, that will bring in even more money than 1961 is doing. We found out why we couldn't harvest our sunflowers. It's down to the Beware of Straw mod. So we cultivated our sunflowers up for nothing. All we had to do was get rid of that mud, which doesn't work with sunflowers and maize apparently now. Uh, we will get rid of that mod and then everything should run smoothly from there on in. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some mods again today. We had a drought of mods because it was the bank holiday in Germany. <coughs> so giants weren't in the office.
get ourselves back into here. Just blowing off the wheels from the lime as we roll across the top of the soil with the outside wheel. Uh, probably halfway through today's episode and making a good bit of progress with the ploughing within the episode. As always, we will work the day out, so the next day you see will follow on naturally. So get ourselves back into the furrow. Looking at what we've ploughed, what we've been going, we should easily get this, well not easily, but should get this field ploughed today, which will be good. Does mean we can concentrate on getting some more animals on the farm and getting... Our crop sold. Still not fully decided whether we're buying more cows or not, but yeah, that will pan out over the winter months. I've got some short rows to finish off when we get there, but majority of the field where we set in is pretty long rows. field does seem to be on a bit of an arch, it's low one end, I in the middle, low the other, looking at the camera angle we're on. It's nice continuous rise and fall over a mound, uh, everything working well with the 65 and the plough. This tractor, of course, will be staying on the farm for a year or two yet, as will all the tractors that are on the farm at the moment.
Nice sunny November day. Here on the farm. Such a nice day indeed that our farmer has still got his wet body warmer on, not a top coat. So shows how good the weather is at the moment. Getting quickly to where the rows will get a little shorter this side. And I'm guessing the other side will be getting shorter as well very shortly. bit more this side before the rows get shorter than the other side but we are quickly getting to where we will get some shorter rows tractor ploughing at seven miles per hour so that's about the right speed I think for ploughing it's about the speed I used to go with the David Brown 880 and with the 7610 that I did ploughing with. there where we've got some shorter rows which are going to be short both ends very soon couple of rounds will get the rows coming short to this end. With this lime on the field, it looks like we've had either an heavy frost or a sl light slow snow flurry, but I can assure you it is lime.
ourselves crossed the other side once more. As you see, we are close to the rows coming short to this end of the field as well. Thing. coming along pretty well as we come to the end of today's episode please give us a like give us a share drop us a comment if you are new to the channel and you'd like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel if you give that bell a ring it will tell you when our content is available until you join us again next time thank you very much for watching enjoy the rest of your day goodbye for now